All right, here we go. Every Christmas Eve, we open up that sports wrap vault. Last year, Bruce was bucked off of a bull at the Hampton Coliseum. The year before that, he was challenged to a game of pool by a woman. This year, we go back to 1985 when Bruce, sporting a mullet, by the way, took on a challenge on the ski slopes. Finally, tonight, yes, it's true, I did indeed travel to the ski slopes of Virginia last week to fulfill a fantasy and meet the great Phil Mayer. It's, well, it's almost as if it was a dream. My fantasy, we call it the challenge. The sun was just beginning to peak above the beautiful Blue Ridge Mountains as I climbed out of the private Beechcraft Bonanza that had whisked me to my historic meeting with Olympic ski champion Phil Mayer. The site of the duel was the Wintergreen Ski Resort outside of Charlottesville, and waiting for me there was Darlene Daughtery. It was her husband, Boots, that had thought up this dream challenge. Raider versus Mayor, sportscaster versus World Cup champion. Taking a line from Billy Crystal, it's more important to look marvelous than to ski marvelous. And on this day, at least, I was going to look like a skier. Looking good, Bruce. Ooh, thank you. He had a crowd of fans around him as I moved his way. The first American to win the World Cup. 1984 Olympic gold medal champion, Phil Mayer. He finally saw me. Bruce, Phil. I've heard about you. How you I've doing, buddy? That. Not bad. Well, I've heard all about you. Well, you know, a bunch of guys down in Virginia Beach told me to come up here because uh, they said we had to have the big challenge match here on the slopes. Yeah, it's funny because I travel the world. I heard about you back here. All right, well, you're I'm, I'm ready. I'm all right. I'm to take you on. All right, well, let's go on over here and let's set it up and let's, let's make a run. He was every bit as good as his press clippings as he sped down the hill, working the flags to perfection. 28 years old, he still skied with the youthful exuberance of a teenager. But I had my fans, too. And it was hard to believe I could even dream of skiing with Phil Mayer. I got him. Finally, it's over. A dream come true. Phil Mayer goes down in defeat. Who would have thought? Who could have beaten him? Well, obviously not Bruce Rader. No, in true fact, this is Phil Mayer's twin brother, Steve. Steve, you helped me fulfill my fantasy. Thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure. You knew well I would have never been able to do it. But, Phil, let me tell you something, buddy. Somewhere, someday, I'm going to be ready for you. I'll be waiting for you, Bruce. And I don't want to see this again, man. This is, this is not cool. Yeah, I mean, come on. I can't even stand up on the darn things. I tried. But that was my dream to finally to race Phil. Phil Mayer, and if I couldn't do it, at least I wanted to be able to see it. So now I can always go back and look at the tape and pretend that it was me. That's oh, what fantasies are all about. Talk Diana. about phony baloney. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk more about Super Bowl later this week. I'll see you tomorrow. We'll be right back. <laughs> That's uh, Bruce and Diana Morgan on the set in 1985. Still to come, the Bowl.